the socket pipe on me? Why? Do you think I'm a liar? A manipulator? Your four and a half pound pipe mod made of an assortment of steel plumbing parts from the hardware store can't stop you from seeing the father. It's impressive, I do agree, and it's 40 and a half inches in length is quite inspiring, as well as its T-fitting hammerhead for a more deadly business end. But why did you use it on the men charged to bring the word of the Father to your heart? We will bring you a new Eden. Be with us. Be with me. I will give you purpose. I will set you free. The Far Cry Pipe Mod. It's been our go-to weapon since Far Cry 5, and we have always wanted to see what it would do to an angel in real life. I hope you guys wanted to see it as much as we did, because we are about to take a leap of faith trusting that the guys at Ubisoft do know what the hell they are talking about, but only one way to find out. Zombies, the bloodthirsty undead. When they arrive, will you survive? Zombie go boom, kick undead ass. Hey, what's up survivors? Welcome to another mind-blowing episode of Zombie Go Boom Video Game Edition. I'm Chuck Murray. Charles Fultz. And today, in honor of Far Cry New Dawn, we're going to be testing out this pipe mod, which is made exactly, or at least as close as we could get, to one of the weapons in Far Cry. But it was really easy, pretty cheap. And what do you think of the weapon? It's got a good weight to it. I think definitely one hit will kill just about anything you swing at it, so... I don't know. I'm looking forward to seeing what it does. So I guess that means that you're ready, right? I'm always ready. <laughs> Let's do this then. Woo! All right, guys. So we have this beautiful angel right here, ready to be annihilated. Charles, what is your plan of attack? Well, I'm going to come in with a power hit and hit the parietal bone right there. Or at least I'm going to try to and see how much damage this freaking thing will do. Ah! <laughs> Yeah, wow. one hit, one kill. My God, that is brutal. I did not expect that to happen, but yeah. Crack the skull all the way around the back. Oh my God, you're Look right. Holy all the crap. Way around here. Oh my God. So yeah, it cracks. First of all, it hit the parietal bone, annihilated it, cracked, stopped over here, but then it cracked down here all the way to the occipital bone, all the way across, almost to the temporal bone. This is, this is an overkill. Wow. All right, this time I'm gonna come in with another power strike, but this time to the frontal bone. Let's do it.
Wow. Okay. So we're trying a new rig. So the head's falling off. We'll fix that. You know. But look at that. That's awesome. Look at that. Not quite the frontal bone. Still hit the parietal bone. But the thickness is right on. Exactly what it would be like. And uh, again, overkill. Did you get any blood on you? I mean, I don't feel any blood on me. Okay, so pretty clean weapon. It makes everything go right into the cranial cavity. I just want to go crazy. Sure. that look how beautiful that is yeah perfect cranial cavity that's awesome all right so it flowered up like crazy we're doing a new kind of blood which uh was actually suggested by a fan and we were thinking about doing that but uh it's uh cornstarch a lot of people ask us how we make our blood this one in particular is cornstarch black food coloring and water and this much cornstarch makes this what is it? It's an amorphous solid. Right, a non-Newtonian fluid or whatever yeah. it's called. Is that right? And yeah, it's, it's really crazy. But as you can see, this weapon is insanely good. I think I saw it rotate a little bit. Yeah, no, it did. Because this thing's round, so when you hit it, it turns in your hand. And so whenever you make contact and you didn't, you're not prepared for the turn, it'll, it'll hit the wrong spot and then this whole top will spin yeah you know so so that's uh, one thing you got to get thread tape or something if you're gonna if you're gonna use this thing practically and this crap I don't like this, this is stupid it's brittle look I can just rip it with my hand don't do it we need it for the tail of the tape okay well we can get more anyway <laughs> yeah no the point is we were trying to make it look like the actual weapon in the game which actually required these twist ties and all this stuff but this is not necessary and it actually makes it worse but other than that, this is a pretty freaking impressive weapon. Look what it did. I mean, come on. And those last amazing. hits I was doing, I wasn't even uh, hitting very I could hard. tell. You were just like, nah. Yeah. Nah. Because yeah. <laughs> this thing's so heavy, uh, you know, you can just basically, if you're doing downward strikes, mostly just let the weight do the work. You just kind of yeah. control it and put a little more force into it. And it actually has a really, really good balance. Yeah. So it feels good. Yeah. Don't even bother with this. I'd put some uh, some sports tape. Yeah, that'd it, be cool. You know, but other than that, I mean, this works almost as great as a warhammer. In fact, if we could find a fitting that actually would have a spike that we could put right there, that would be even deadlier against zombies. So actually, I'm I wouldn't just give it a zombie go boom seal of approval. I, I'm I'm gonna give it the overkill seal of destruction. What do you think? Yeah. I agree. Boom! If you like this video, please thumbs up. Every time you thumbs up, you tell YouTube that, hey, you like this stuff, so please show it to more people. It helps us a lot, so please, 10,000 likes would be amazing. I don't think we've gotten that in a while, so please help if you can. Subscribe if you haven't, and I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more weapons based on video games please let us know what in the comment section below and please read the description always read the description ton of cool stuff right there social media all sorts of stuff and with another mind-blowing episode from zombie go boom i'm chuck moray i'm charles folks we'll see you next time